More than 350 metric tons of waste is disposed here at Chunga landfill. At least every five minutes, a garbage truck arrives to offload its contents at the already heaped dumping site north of Zambia's capital, Lusaka. The workers here have an overwhelming task and they work round the clock to help recycle 17 hectares of land piled with trash. These waste separators, however, are not employed by the city council. They are just residents and children from nearby compounds who have made a living scavenging through the refuse, picking recyclable material and selling it to the industries. The mayor of Lusaka, Daniel Chisenga, is aware of the likely environmental hazard emanating from the city's only designated dumping site. And over the years, the capacity of the council to handle some of these challenges has become a major issue. We do have enough human resource in this city, enough human resource that could collect all the waste in the city and take it to the plant where this recycling can be done, where the waste can be used to generate energy and all that. But the question and the bottom line has been the challenges resulting from financing of the plant. According to the council records, Lusaka was originally designed for a population of only 500,000 residents. In 2010, the National Statistics Office counted over 2 million people living in Lusaka. This has made it practically impossible for the municipality to maintain green a town that was once called the Garden City. Residents use either their own backyards or any nearby idle ground to dispose their waste because they do not want to pay 50 rebased kwacha or $10 to the waste collection unit. When communicable diseases break out, the innocent children are most vulnerable. So, how does the council hope to make the story of Lusaka Waste Management a success? Well, how about a rhino? It is Africa's most endangered world animal and one which the tourists always want and desire to see. We put up a rhino at uh, the Long Acres. Long Acres, before you go there, the, the litter which we used to experience there and you go now, the litter was totally removed because even the school children will simply have, you know, the fun of just picking paper and just go and put it in the rhino. So it, it, it was not merely an exercise which people will be forced. People at that interest, anyone who pick a paper, the first thing you think of, the rhino. So, this is what we said, let's duplicate a number of rhinos that are going to be placed in uh, different parts of the city, like Soweto, City Market, and we believe that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a recycling uh, concept that will help to reduce the amount of waste. And it's of course the concept of going green. Against all odds, Lusaka is slowly reclaiming its garden city status. The streets that were not long ago and I saw are once again attractive. This fascinating initiative here could actually be Zambia's answer to attaining Millennium Development Goal Number 7 on green sustainability. Joseph Mwenda in Lusaka.